Nick and Taylor, it's 549. It's Thursday, so let's eat. Our segment this week features a taste of Texas barbecue that you can find in the upstate. 7 News is Christine Scarpelli is live in yes. Fountain Inn at Bobby's Barbecue. Good morning, Christine. Oh, and this is my new home, guys. This is where <laughs> I'll be live every morning from now on because I cannot leave this smell. Tay is the most hospitable, kind human. <laughs> Thank you. He has been so nice waking up early, barely any sleep, and the cookers have started. So they are open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Bobby's Barbecue. Before I go on, you've got to take a look at this, what I'm talking about, this Texas barbecue. Go ahead, watch. Thanks for coming back for another week of Let's Eat. Two very distinguished guests to introduce you to today, Grace and Mercy. These two cookers have been up way before the sun, producing some award-winning barbecue. I think you'll be able to taste it by the time we finish this segment. Let's go show you what I mean. We started out 2013 as a hobby. Be careful with hobbies because they get a business. And a successful one at that. Tay Nelson grew up cooking at his father's drive-in. He wanted nothing to do with restaurants after that. But his wife, Sarah, <laughs> and just about everybody else, couldn't get enough of his barbecue. She's like, this is pretty good. And then, you know, you hear that, you know, like, da da da, -da. you like, I got you. The couple poured prayers and their savings into these two. The cooking chamber is a thousand gallon decommissioned propane tank. That's where the magic happens at. Central Texas barbecue cooking for 10 to some 17 hours. But we do have our South Carolina roots. We do the full pork. We have the big beef ribs. We call them the dinosaur bones. I hate to see them go. Man, they come and get them. I'm like, bye bye brisket, like it's a baby, you know? All of that hard work may seem crazy until you taste it. It's just rip. Oh no, I think something's wrong. It's falling apart. No, that's what you want. That's oh, it's falling want. apart. That's, that's a good thing. Again, are you sure? Positive. Oh my goodness. And again. Oh my goodness. And look at that. Look at that beautiful color in there. This flavor, it's exploding in my mouth. Yeah. I can't believe this. Yeah. And that's some good eating, man. Like, that's some good eating. It's hard to believe, but Sarah's sides, mostly family recipes, almost outshine the beef. The cheesy potato casserole is kind of our signature dish. This is our Ellie's baked beans. It's named after my mom. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers the brisket. Down the hat. Down the hat. Right. Make it good. Mmm. You trying to get all the best of both worlds? Fireworks. And yeah, that's Texas barbecue. Take me to Texas. Yeah. It is. It's like bringing Texas here to Fountain Inn. I mean, this is a pretty good location. You've got a little Greenville that can get here easily. I know coming from Spartanburg, I can get here easily the back way. Do you hear a lot from your customers? What do they say to you? What do they like about this place? Um, they just love the community feel, how you walk in, big smiles, and just good food. And like you said, it's not too far from Greenville. Just Right off 385, and um, it's easy to get to, and um, you can find it pretty easy too. You feel like family here. Taste being um, you humble, but you <laughs> treat everybody like they are your family. Yes, I think that's the key to success: is treat people the way you want to be treated. Love on them. You know, everyone's going through something. You might have people that don't want to talk, and then you just smile and keep going. Some people might ask for prayer. You know, everybody's going through something. So I think food brings people together. And for me, it's the perfect opportunity just to love on people. And I think you just give what you need. So. Well, what I need is brisket. That we is got fantastic. You. We, we can do that. Incredible, guys. What do you think, Fred? Any thoughts? Uh, I, I love it. I have a quick question. When are they open? Because some barbecue yes. places have some unique hours. Yes. Sometimes they're closed a couple yes. of days during the week. So what the, what's Bobby's hours? Thursday. Uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 11 to 8. Very good. And 11 you can go online and order eatbobbies.com. Eatbobbies.com. Yes. Sounds like my personal website. Oh, that yes. is fantastic, guys. <laughs> Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's today. So you can get here today. Back to you. That's right. <laughs> I'm sold. Thank you, Christine. Coming up on Carolina.